As you guys can probably tell, doing a little bit of an oil change today for the Tacoma, which of course is nothing special. I do have a tutorial video for this for the 4.0 liter V6. Check that out right here if you haven't done so already. But today I'm actually swapping in Fumoto's new F133 Fumoto drain valve. I am running their F103N, which I've had for a few years now. No complaints with that. But it seems like the biggest complaint people had with the old valve is that it drains slowly, which I never really minded because it just gives you time to, you know, check other things, check fluids, you know, air up your tires, stuff like that. There's plenty of things to do when you're given the gift of time. I've been given the gift of time. The actual body is larger. The drain opening where the oil actually flows through is supposed to be 60% larger. So I thought it would be fun to actually do a time test draining the old oil out of my truck with the old F103 valve. Put some new oil in and then drain that out immediately just to do a time test to compare and contrast. Yes, I bought extra oil just for this purpose, so I will pretty much be doing two oil changes today. No big deal, so I will time the results and let you guys know if this is worth it, if you are one of those people who is sort of worried or irritated that the old one drains slowly. So let's get started. And if you guys are interested in grabbing the new F133 drain valve or the old one or any of the other useful oil change accessories I have sitting right here, I'll put links for all of this stuff down in the description below. I did remove my skid plate for this just so you guys could actually see stuff more clearly. You don't, of course, have to do that because they usually have a opening in the bottom of the skid where you can do this. Go ahead and remove my, this is just one of these like protective nipples. Yeah, I said it, nipple, grow up guys. Remove that just to keep gunk from like getting built up in there from off-roading and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain this out and start the timer. One quick thing to point out, if you guys do your own oil changes and collect them in a larger receptacle like this, I found this out the hard way yesterday because this one felt like it was pretty full. I wanted to go ahead and empty it out before starting this since I'm pretty much doing two oil changes. My local advanced auto parts, they used to, you know, take old oil so they can recycle them. You just bring your stuff in and dump it. They are not doing that during the COVID crisis, and I called some of the other places like AutoZone. They're also not doing it, so I don't know if that's just a local thing here in Northern Virginia or not, but just be aware of that. I had a few empty, like, gallon milk containers I used to funnel and poured some of the old oil in here so I can put all the oil I'm collecting today into my larger receptacle. So just FYI. And this is by far one of my new favorite do-it-yourself oil change accessories is this spill mat. Even though I have a Fumoto valve, it makes it relatively clean compared to the other ones there always seems to be a drop or two somewhere so I got the large this is like I think five feet by three feet or two and a half feet wide plenty of coverage this is absorbent and the bottom is like has a non-slip surface so definitely recommend you guys check out this one especially if you don't have a Fumoto valve and this part is always fun trying to just get in here and get it just right you just push this in and then down I know my hands probably probably gonna block the camera just a little bit but you guys got to deal with it. And there it goes. Got my stopwatch going. I'm going to try to position this directly under. If you guys are ever doing this, this is another reason I picked up the spill mat. If, you, if it's like windy, just be aware that once this gets to a slower trickle, the wind can sort of blow this around. So make sure your collection pan is like positioned accordingly because it can like get drips everywhere so again that's why that oil mat is definitely a nice thing to have even if you have a Fumoto valve and yes I wiped down my oil drain pan just for you guys so it looks nice and pretty across the 10 minute mark still going 15 minutes when will it end can you ever find a way to make it stop one eternity later all right, guys, we're finally at the drip phase. I'm sure, you know, it could probably drip for another 30 minutes or so to get all that stuff out of the bottom, but we're at 21 minutes pretty much rounding up. Is there a glare on the camera? Yeah, 21 minutes, so that's longer than I thought because usually, you know, I just do this, I let it drain, I go inside and do stuff, but I've literally been sitting out here timing it, checking it out, so that's a bit surprising. I'm really curious to see what the new F-133 is going to drain at, so let's... Remove this one, compare it to the other one, and get the new one installed. Getting ready to swap in the new F-133. Here's the older F-103. Now this is the one with the longer nipple, which makes it a little easier to put the plastic hose on if you want to drain it that way. But when you flip them upside down, those are the actual holes that the oil drains out of. If that's going to show up on camera. You can definitely see the opening here on the F-103. It looks like it's about twice as wide. or twice the diameter of the old one, so 
Hopefully, I would imagine that drain at least twice as fast. If so, that's gonna put it somewhere around the 10 minute mark. Place your bets now, let's see what we get. And to install any Fumoto valve, you can see it is threaded, of course, to match whatever is on your oil pan. It comes with the washer right here. You put that over, thread it down, hand tight, ugga dugga, nothing too crazy. You don't wanna break any of those threads. I believe the oil pan is aluminum, so definitely be careful with that. And it has this clip that goes on to protect the lever that opens this. You don't want to have that accidentally open up. Of course, I'm running this behind or on top of my steel skid plates anyway, so it's protected off-road. Never, I would definitely not recommend running one of these if you didn't have full skid plates. I'm not talking about the ones from Toyota either. All right, guys, got the new F-133 installed, nice and shiny, added 5.5 quarts of oil and went ahead and poured out the oil I just drained in the pan in the containers I used for the new oil just because this was feeling pretty full and I would hate to have this like overflow while I'm doing this. That would be a huge pain in the ass. So getting ready to drain this, shooting for that 10 minute mark, hopefully twice as fast as the old F-103 oil drain valve. Let's see what we get. All right, guys. Well, I'm glad I was actually out here watching because it actually beat the 10 minute mark by several minutes. Of course, my phone turned off. I'm at six minutes, 58 seconds. So we'll just call that seven minutes before it gets to this point where it's just gonna drip, obviously it'll do that until the end of time, but that is way faster than the, what do we what do we call it for the other one? 21 minutes for the old Fumoto. So I'm definitely impressed with this. Obviously this is still gonna be slower than just, if you just have a regular oil drain plug that you pull and you know let all the oil fall out that way. But the idea behind the Fumoto is a clean oil change. I didn't spill a drop. I had my absorbent mat just in case. And I'm very pleased with this, so I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and put more oil in the Tacoma. I really hope you guys appreciate that I bought two sets of oil for this, just to show you guys how much faster this new F-133 drain valve is. And there was enough stock on. This one had the smaller nipple, but for my old protective cap to keep crud from getting up where the oil actually drains. And I got the safety clip right up there, just in case. Even though, of course, I'll be popping the skids back on today. And that will do it for the F-133 Fumoto valve speed test. Comment below if you guys enjoyed this product and if you plan on getting one for yourself. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video.